welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how to pair over the knee boots. So how to style over the knee boots, what to wear them with and that's literally it. So thank you for being here, welcome if you're new. If you haven't subscribed yet, then I'm really close to a thousand subscribers, so I'd really appreciate if you could subscribe. Click the subscribe button, whichever corner it's in. You can do it now, it's just underneath the video as well. So you have no excuse. <laughs> I've got lots of regular content coming out for you guys. I keep it quite fresh, change, change around what I do quite a lot on the channel. You know, that's just me. I can't do the same thing every week because I get bored out of my brains. And you know, I think it's good to keep it fun. So, so it kind of took me a long time to find the right pair of boots. Like finding a pair of over the knee boots is actually really hard for two reasons for me. One, because I'm a tall girl and two, because I have wide fit feet. But also I think they're just generally quite hard to find a really nice pair that you love that isn't too expensive. Like no one, unless you're rich, wants to spend like a hundred and something quid on a pair of boots. If you do, good for you, but that, that's just like not, that just doesn't happen in my life. So I was on the hunt for a real bargain pair of decent boots that were gonna last me at least a season, um, because who knows how long these fashions sort of last, but um, there's something personally I really like, and they were in style last year, and I'm sure they will be in style next year, because they're kind of, I can see them becoming a timeless piece, but you know, for now, we're just gonna style them with what we want to do. So while it's still awesome, I feel like you can still get a little bit of leg out, but as a tall girl, like I say, sometimes I'm a bit conscious that a little bit of leg looks too much leg. So if you don't feel comfortable with any of the outfits I've paired, feel free to put a pair of tights on. Um, with the deniers, I would say go 80 denier is the best um, because it's got kind of sheer, um, but it still gives you that little bit of heat for warmth. If you go 100 and you're wearing it with black boots, you kind of can't really see the boots. So the lower down here the better, but you know, whatever. It's all up to you. Style is just up to you. Style is your choice and your personality. And all I want to do is like help you express your personality and feel great every day through your clothes and in your mind and your body, everything. So yeah. So the first, the first outfit I got. Now actually, just before we go on, I'm just going to talk to you about the boots really quickly. So these are just really plain, really simple. The front is like a faux suede, suede, and then the back has got like um, sort of an elasticated detail. Because sorry if you can hear my dog. The, because of the back has got that elastic detail, they just sort of stay up really easily. So they're perfect. They don't fall down, no fuss. No frills, no fuss. But this is where they're from. And the link is down below. All the links are down below, like I said earlier. Um, I'm gonna put links down below as well for different styles of boots um, that you might or might not like. So go and have a little look what I found for you. You can thank me later. So if you can see them from there, they're completely flat. Now I was on the search for ones with a little heel, but the problem with that is because I have wide feet, um, I find that, um, the heel pushes down and then the width of the feet get even tighter. So for me, I've just gone from completely flat because I knew I'd get more wear out of them. And I've already worn them like all this weekend and I'm wearing them out today uh, with this outfit, but I'm, I'm gonna put some tights on because it's minus one. Like I had to defrost my car this morning, regardless. Yeah, if you're not a wide fit or you don't have like, I don't know, tall girl issues, then, like, by all means, go for one without the heel. I've linked loads of pairs of over-the-knee boots down below, like my faves. So the top ones will be the ones I've got on, and then the second is my favourite pair from Zara, which I featured loads on my Instagram last week, which I ordered. I ordered an eight and a seven, and they just didn't fit me in either, and I was devastated. But they did have a little heel, and they're a little bit more glam, but I knew I wouldn't get the wear of them like I will with these. So it's worth taking a bit of time to find the right ones for you that work for you. Also with over the knee boots, they've got a tendency to slide down. Um, and I don't like those little stringy bits that come out the back and like hang off that you've got to like sort of tie them onto your leg or something. Like it just doesn't look great. So for me personally, I love these ones. Um, so the first I outfit I've done for you guys is some black over the knee boots. All we've got is a black handbag with it and a 10 pound dress from Preman. And I think this just looks kind of like effortlessly stylish, um, very easy to wear. Not have not too much to think about. 
little pair of sunnies will look great with this, a little leather jacket will look great with this. Oh, we have my sunnies in here, and I do. Yeah, little leather jacket. If you're a bit chilly, black scarf, dress it up, lovely. Such an easy, easy, reasonable piece. So I'm just going to put the next one on now, dear. Okay, so next, um, this next outfit I've styled for more of a sort of like chilled look. So quite easy to wear, sort of if you're gonna go for shopping, I don't know, go to meet the girls for coffee, something really, really like easy to wear, comfy, um, just really, really easy. I don't have anything else to say about how easy this outfit was to just put on. Um, so this denim skirt is from Zara. It was 19.99, and this jumper is from one of my River Island hauls. I think it was in the sale, down to like seven pound or something like that. But it's actually like a rose gold, and it's really pretty. I don't really wear it enough, to be honest. Um, yeah, but it looks really nice tucked in. So any sort of like jumpers that you've got that are sort of fat wing, loose, something like that, into a skirt, just looks really great with the over knee boots. favorite look at the minute. I wore this to the races the other day. So I went to chart the races. I'm gonna do a little blog post on that. Uh, on my website, just so you know. Um, and this is my favorite little look. I kind of feel like I'm out of Hit Me Big One More Time video, Britney Spears. But I love it. I love this tweed detail at the minute. It's kind of like, it's always been there, like in the fashion world, but it's never really like been a lot of it. And there's not really a lot of it now, but I just really, really like it. This skirt is 25 99 from Zara. I've paired it with a little roll neck jumper from New Look, which was 8 99 And I've got the same boots on again. You could just pair this with a plain black handbag. You can literally keep it as simple as you want, or you can accessorise with colour if you are more of a colour person. Like, personally, I just like everything to be neutral. Um, this I wore, I did wear it with tights to the races because it was very cold. However, I do think it looks better like this. So it's entirely up to you, as I said, either if you pair things with tights or not. And finally, I've just paired this now with a cream oversized jumper. Um, you can get these literally anywhere. I got this in the sale like last year from New Look from like Fiverr, but I'll link some alternatives below. This skirt is from Topshop, um, last year again, but I'll link some alternatives below. And I've got my little Michael Kors handbag with it, and I think it just sort of finishes the outfit off really, really well with the over the new boots. Like I said, feel free to wear tights if you live in a colder country, but if you live in somewhere warm, they just get the legs out, you know? Just, just rock those pins, ladies. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed watching how I style over the new boots. Um, like I said, they're so versatile. You could even wear them with jeans, so like literally like this now with black jeans into them. So easy, so, so versatile. So it's not like you, if you're not comfortable with someone who wears dresses or skirts, then feel free to wear leggings, jeans, anything like that tucked in. Personally, an all day for me is like all black, all black everything, but it's entirely up to you. So I just wanted to show you today how versatile they are and how to um, sort of pick the right ones for you and make sure that you're gonna get the most wear out of them for a really reasonable price. So definitely do some shopping around. I've linked as many as I can below that are all around a good, what I would say a good price. So between like 20 and 80 pound, I think is the most on there. So nothing too expensive so definitely head down to the description box below and have a little look what i found for you i hope that you really enjoyed watching this video if you did please click the thumbs up button and just tell youtube that really that you know you like my videos and boost me up a little bit to help me to get to that 1000 subscribers before christmas which would be amazing my watch time as well has flown up which is just awesome so i'm so happy at the minute thank you so much guys for being sure here you remember to leave me a comment down below and just tell me your favorite look or how you style over the new boots where you found yours from just just like open the art of conversation down there below let me know you're here make sure you hit the subscribe button just to make sure you don't miss any more videos because I, like i said i post really regular maybe once or twice a week who knows i like to keep the element of surprise in there <laughs> to the number button on anyway so you know if i when i do upload and have a great west west of your week have a great rest of your week 
I forgot to say, one thing I would definitely advise for um, anyone wanting to elongate the legs and make the legs look slightly more um, elegant and, what's this, elongated, sleek, long, slim, slender, I would go for a more pointy toe. So anything with a bit more point at the end. So these aren't quite pointy, but they have that um, sort of diamond shape to them. And that always elong elongates the legs to make them illusion of a longer leg. So that's just a little tip for you. If you wanna watch a video of how I style my hair like this in this video, then um, the link is also down in the description box below. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Love you all. Bye.